Dr. Kirk Sudmeyer. I'm Director of Animal Health at the Kansas City Zoo. So we have some really exciting news about our chimpanzee, Rachel, uh, our 40-year-old female. She's the mother of the twins, Tioni and Titu, and she is pregnant. And she is due within probably the next month, month and a half with uh, uh, hopefully a nice, healthy baby. Everything looks fabulous so far. Uh, we've gotten images of the arms, the legs, the head. We've gotten images of the heartbeat and the liver, the lungs, the ribs, pretty much everything except for the gender right now. The gestation of a chimpanzee compared to people, ours is around nine months. Chimpanzee is about eight and a half months or so. So it's a couple of weeks shorter in general overall compared to uh, people. So the process uh, to ultrasound a chimpanzee without having to anesthetize it, which is how most zoos would have to do it, it's how we used to have to do it years and years ago, is that we just have a tremendous staff that believe in conditioning uh, with positive reinforcement. Um, we work together very uh, closely. Um, I tell them kind of where we want to get close to the belly button, under the belly button, that type of thing. And then they'll focus on training the animal to present the abdomen um, and then we can put the probe right on the belly, right up to the mesh. And as long as they're rewarded and they don't feel any discomfort, they want to do it. Um, and if she doesn't want to, she'll walk away or she won't come up. Well, right now we're sort of predicting uh, Rachel should have the baby uh, the first couple weeks of March. Uh, we will make sure that it bonds to mom 72 hours. There's a 72 hour window where we critically assess that infant, how strong it grips mom, how well it nurses. And if everything is going really well, uh, within a month or two and with the warmer weather, then mom and baby will be on exhibit at the zoo.